Welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast. I'm Carolyn Sherlock, here with tips, reviews, and how-tos for your cruising adventure. The Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Boat Affair. Make 2018 a year filled with extraordinary experiences on the water. Boat Affair, a boutique boat and experience sharing company, invites you on a -a one-of-a-kind adventure. Visit BoatAffair.com today. Make sure to mention Boat Galley 18 to get a 5% exclusive discount. Slow down, slow down. Cooking in a kitchen that moves. If you're not on the hard or tied up in a calm marina, your boat is always moving at least a little bit. Head out sailing, especially hard on the wind or motoring through leftover waves, and you'll find there's more motion. Add in a squall or a tropical storm, and you might find the boat rolling gunnel to gunnel. Those times, though, you probably expect the motion. But you can also get a sudden roll in a perfectly flat anchorage as a fishing boat or jet ski comes roaring by. In other places, say the ICW or Kentucky Lake, large boats and barges with huge wakes may come almost out of nowhere to pass you by. In those cases, you're not expecting it, and there's no time to prepare. Most of the time, the boat itself is perfectly fine with the motion, but down below, particularly in the galley, things can get dangerous. A few precautions will make it much safer. And while there's less motion with a catamaran, it's still not zero. Even on Barefoot Gal, I follow these basic precautions. I have one basic rule in the galley, and that is to assume that the boat can roll gunnel to gunnel at any time. No, most of the time it won't, but the little bit of extra care to keep the galley safe in case it does is well worth it when you consider the potential consequences. A serious cut from a falling knife, a broken or bruised foot from a can launched off a counter, or a nasty burn from boiling water. In nearly 10 years of full-time cruising, I have never had a serious injury in the galley. I developed eight specific habits to ensure that a big roll wouldn't result in a big injury. First, I lay knives in the sink, not on the counter, when I'm not actually using them. A dish towel or rag will keep them from banging around and damaging the edges. I put canned goods in the sink also until I'm ready to use them. Even a small can can injure you if it falls on your foot. Again. I use a couple of rags to pad them. Close lockers, cupboards immediately after getting items out so they won't come tumbling out. A quarter inch lip on the shelf won't stop a can of green beans from falling if the boat rolls. You have to take precautions and close the door. I put things away as soon as I'm done with them. If there's nothing left on the counter, nothing can fall off the counter. I always use pot restraints and stove gimbals to keep hot pots and pans from launching themselves across the boat. If I'm pouring anything hot, I do it in the sink. Any spills or splashes will be contained, and I don't have boiling water or whatever running down my legs. And whenever possible, I sit to use a knife. If the boat suddenly rolls, I'm much less likely to be flung, and therefore less likely to injure myself. And finally, when using the oven, I brace myself well before opening the door, and I try to remember to think how opening the door may change the balance of the stove. You don't want to fall into the stove, and you also don't want hot pans falling into you as you open that door. One more thought on staying safe in the galley. Due to the curvature of the hull, Most monohulls have a storage locker just behind the stove. Never put anything into that locker that you might need to use when the burner is lit or when there's a hot pan on the stove. If you're wearing a top with sleeves, the sleeve can catch fire if it comes too close to the lit burner. Also, if you're not wearing sleeves, steam from the boiling pan can burn your arm. I learned this one the hard way. And if a boat If the boat moves as you're reaching across, you can either fall into a hot pan 
possibly burning yourself when you come into contact with the pan on the burner itself or by splashing hot food down the front of yourself or down your legs. Just because you're in a calm anchorage doesn't mean the boat won't roll when another boat or jet ski goes by. And just turning the burner off before reaching across doesn't eliminate the risk to you as the hot pans are still there. This locker tends to get pretty warm, both because it's next to the hull and because of the stove. Rather than putting anything in here that could be hurt by heat, I tend to use it for leftovers containers, plastic boxes and so forth. I only get them out after we're through eating, and thus the pans and the stove are pretty well cooled down before I reach over the stove. Until next time, stay safe. Thanks for listening. If you like the show, please be sure to subscribe in your podcast app. Just search for The Boat Galley Podcast. And reviews are always appreciated. Until next time, then. Slow down, slow down.